console her and then go on TikTok right after. <laughs> Especially given the events that unfolded shortly after. So I guess it's safe to say that this happened for 12 a.m. Now this is just my theory, but this is the point in which I believe Savannah and Ethan became the unplanned casualties of this mass murder. And hang with me because I'm going to break it down for you as clearly as I can. Mm-hmm. The rail and floor plan of the house is the most troubling part for me, and what stuck out the most to me after reading the affidavit. Because before we knew that Dylan's room was on the second floor, in my head, I was picturing Xana's room, or Dylan's room, apparently was. And that theory laid the groundwork for how Dan and Ethan could have been collateral damage from being seen. Since that room was on the entry level from the sliding door, I initially believed that maybe the killer killed Dan and Ethan first on his way upstairs. That Kaylee and Maddie were the targets, and that they were killed because they began to get the girl. Or maybe even that Dan and Ethan heard something, since that room was right underneath Kaylee. Or maybe that Ethan was standing right there as the killer came downstairs. I don't know. And now, that's what Now that we know that Dylan was in fact on the second floor, not the basement level, and that her room was closest to the stairs, none of that adds up. And theoretically, I guess the same thinking, I suppose, could apply, but rather it being Van and Ethan that were unplanned casualties, it would have been Dylan. But we now know that didn't happen, so he was the only one spared on those two floors. So let's talk about why. No. My theory as to why. No. Also, it wouldn't make sense because Dylan said that the masked figure walked right by her to the sliding glass door behind her. And looking at the layout, if he was coming from upstairs after killing the girls last, he wouldn't need to walk past Dylan, and the sliding door wouldn't be behind her. It would have been directly to the left through the kitchen. So, he was coming from Xana and Ethan's room. But looking at this angle of the second floor, the stairs, he had no reason mm-hmm. to walk down the hallway and go after Ethan and Anna. It's not mm-hmm. at all. In fact, it kind of seems like he intentionally went out of his way to go to Xana's room. After coming down the stairs, he mm-hmm. left Ethan and left out of the room. Instead, he went all the way to the other end of the house, even passing Dylan's room and bypassing her completely. And now that we know both Ethan and Xana were found in Xana's room, I'm questioning how that even happened. Mm-hmm. That Brian was just trying to go after anyone who was on some murderous spree. Maybe he tried to open Dylan's door first, and then mm-hmm. or maybe he heard the sound from the TikTok app from Zana's phone, or heard general noises since Ethan and Zana were probably awake. Maybe he saw a light on mm-hmm. in a way that wasn't on before. I don't know. It's puzzling to me because the order the affidavit seems to go in mm-hmm. is out of the house. The biggest question is why do you want to kill Ethan? Which don't worry, I will be getting into all of that. I believe the crime that Dylan said she heard and the male boy saying it's okay and it is again after the animal as I met it after 4 12 a.m. So what could explain the crying and the male voice saying that at 4 12 after leaving Maddie and the Ethan or Xana came out of the room for some reason. Then maybe Xana was out of her bedroom and was crying mm-hmm. because she saw somebody coming down the stairs with blood on him and mm-hmm. was that the crying that Dylan heard? Because if Xana saw a stranger coming down the stairs with mm-hmm. blood and got scared and was crying, mm-hmm. rather than mm-hmm. was the one who committed this horrific act, could he have immediately said, it's okay, I'm going to help you, pretending not to be the killer, but possibly having been up there and escaped. Maybe he was one of the guys that the girls met at the bar, you know, people in and out of the house all the time, so could he have pretended to have survived some of the stairs himself? And be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to help you. Because it would have been a Her room, or could he have quickly coaxed her into her room? Or could he have quickly coaxed her into her 
room towards the back hall. The fact instead of he kills her in April. You're being high, but smoking hurts your lungs. I've got you covered. You need to Farm bill, and you can look at it. And if you're not super into gummies, they have hash, mm -hmm. flour, and so much more. And if you're still skeptical, you can check out thousands of reviews on their website. Go to mm -hmm. gummies.co or click the link below, and they'll ship right to your door through USPS. Usually only takes a couple days to arrive. Mood is running a limited time sale where you get 20% off your first order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She also received a door dash at 4 a.m. Uh, there's also a picture floating around of a jack-in-the-box bag with her name on it at the kitchen sink. I don't know if it's from that night or not uh, because they had trash cans all throughout the house, but if so, could she have eaten in her room like so many college kids do? I know I did. And then when she was done, she took the bag to the kitchen and she ran into Brian at the same time and uh, out. Another situation I thought of that feels less likely to me personally, but is possible, is that maybe Ethan was killed first. She said, let me help you. So fear all over again. And I know that you think about, but it does happen. Which we're going to come back to all of this in a second, but let me know what you think so far. So after leaving at 4 20 a.m., there was also on five different surveillance cameras from mm -hmm. at 5 25 a.m. to 7 a.m. And I want to point out here that the drive to Pullman to Moscow is not an hour long. Mm -hmm. The route Brian allegedly took kind of made a U shape, showing that he likely went the longest way possible, mm -hmm. probably in an effort to evade as many traffic cameras as possible. It's almost amazing just how many surveillance cameras nearby the house and neighborhood were able to put all of this together. So hats off to Moscow PD, Idaho State PD, and the FBI for all of their work. I also want to mention that in many of the surveillance camera footages of this white Elantra, the police didn't have a front license plate. Now that we know that the knife sheath, which is the leather knife holder, was left next to Maddie, I believe that Maddie and Kaylee were shot first, which is something that I didn't expect. And that explains the sheath placement, too. He possibly took it off for the first murder, set it beside Maddie, then the adrenaline was pumping, and he forgot it and left it behind. Like I discussed in my last video, the sheath was used to identify Brian's DNA. In the affidavit, it says that the FBI recovered trash from Brian's parents' house in Pennsylvania and used DNA samples there to connect to Brian. <laughs> is that if Brian left the sheath behind, Although they still would have matched the Elantra and maybe even some cell phone data, I don't know. How, would they have DNA? Would they have enough DNA? We know that there was a lot of contaminated DNA in the house, in a house and a party house. Would he have been caught as quickly? Because, I don't know. Mm -hmm. More about that, guys. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Back to when Dylan says she sees the masked man leaving. Can you first of all imagine how mm -hmm. that must have been? The affidavit says that Dylan opened the door mm -hmm. after she heard the and a male clad in mm -hmm. clothing and a mask that covered the person's mouth and nose walked towards her. She described the mm -hmm. as a 10 or 10 mm -hmm. male, not very muscular, but athletically built with bushy eyebrows. The mm -hmm. Uh, 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 uh,
outside of her doorway, mm -hmm. which I'm wondering if it's still possible that she was wearing mm -hmm. rings, and if they were wet, maybe the material mm -hmm. and that's why a print was able to be detected. I don't know. If that's the case, it's crazy to think about that much blood mm -hmm. and all the noise. Mm -hmm. But I'm Mm -hmm. 
But now, long ago, the FBI made a statement saying, contrary to the December 15th, the request for not requested or directed by the FBI. It's possible that it was state police who requested it in Indiana, or it's possible that this new source, SOX, was... Everything is <laughs> and no price is too good. 